long time ago at a place called Glen Burnie, Maryland. <laughs> I found myself up against the whale. So, hey! Excuse me. It's not about his size, necessarily. It's just the fact that he had been known for months to be wandering in, loading up his cart with a whole bunch of movies. Every once in a while, a small home appliance, at least a few toaster ovens and a microwave every once in a while. He claimed it was for his family, but we knew he was selling it online afterwards. So it was up to me to pin on a bed, strap on a gun, and go find this bastard! <laughs> and when I saw him, I said, That's not yours, ain't it, boy? <laughs> That's not yours. I would love it if the Grease Man was screaming at the one that caught Jester at the Walmart. <laughs> the worst part is, a few months later, I go to court. I'm sitting there in the back row. I'd been stripped of my authority because of maybe an abuse of power here and there. Sure. They brought this man in, and I knew it was him. I'd seen that glint in his eye. He had it. It wasn't just for his needs. It was for the thrill. He enjoyed stealing as much as he enjoyed the stuff he walked out with. And I couldn't believe my eyes. I said, you dumb sons of bitches! You couldn't find the one piece of tape where he was on camera? No, no, you had to find some other dude. And then they let him walk free. At least he thinks so. I'm always there, lying in wait. <laughs> just waiting for him to slip up one more time. Yeah. <laughs> I remember one of the payoffs. The weird reason why... Uh he lost his badge is that he was taking his nightstick and he'd find a maggot and he would bury it in their keister up to his fucking handle. <laughs> Frowned upon. Uh, Even boy. back then, 